kids on today's show how to change your electric guitar strings, a lesson that takes you beyond the blues, and much, much more. Stay tuned and tuned up. Hey Eric, how do you change guitar strings? It's got to be better than this. Eric's guitar. Eric's guitar. Eric's guitar. Eric's guitar. Eric's guitar. Eric's guitar. He fixes guitars for everybody in town. When you're in Los Angeles and you need your guitar repaired, go to the place where the pros go. Eric's Guitar Shop. Alright, changing strings. Pull the string through the post. On the wound string you want to get maybe three, four wraps out of the string. So I'm going to leave about an inch and a half of slack on the string. That's I'm going to push back through the post. I'm going to turn it one quarter of a turn. I'm going to crimp the string. Take the slack side of the string, bring it around towards the inside of the headstock, underneath the plain side of the string, pull both sides tight, and bend it over. That locks the string into the post. The string will not slip. Shoot it up. Clip the excess. Do that five more times and you're done. Okay, changing a plain string. We're gonna push the string through the post. Because we can get more wraps out of a plain string because it's thinner, we'll pull it back about two inches of slack. Turn the post one quarter of a turn. Crimp the plain side of the string towards the inside of the headstock. Bring the slack side of the string around again towards the inside of the head, which would be the opposite as the base string. Grab it underneath, pull them both tight, and bend it over. Once we have the strings on, let's get the guitar up to pitch. The quickest way to tune your guitar, if your tuner is set on one note, like E, we're just gonna hit all the E's on the guitar. Fifth fret on your B string, ninth fret on the G string, get that up to E. Second fret on your D string, seventh fret on your A. Hi, my name's Gannon, and I want to show you some blues and beyond. When playing the blues, you mostly use the pentatonic scale. Let's say we're in the key of C. You would use the C pentatonic scale, which looks like this. You've heard that a million times. Now let's look at some other pentatonic scales that can take you kind of out of that. You can take a pentatonic scale and move it up a whole step and play a D pentatonic over a C blues. The reason that works, it gives you all these different color tones that you wouldn't get in just a regular pentatonic in C. You're getting the 9, which is D, you're getting the 11th, you're getting the 5th, the 6th, again, which, you know, which sounds great. So you're getting all these cool tones you wouldn't normally get just from just playing the regular pentatonic. And the cool thing is, you're using the same scale but up a whole step, so it's not like a big stretch.
Today's show is sponsored by the Michael Kelly Patriot Shadow. Rockin'. 